How's it going everyone? It's Derek Ramos here and we're back with another episode of Wax Wednesday. Now, it's obviously been some time since we've uh, put out an episode, but we've missed you and we hope that you've missed us. Today we're actually at Doctor Strange Records. We're gonna go inside and meet with the owner, Bill. We're gonna see what he's all about. We're gonna dig for some records and see what he has to offer. And then we're gonna go ahead and take those records back to the lab, chop them up and make a beat. It's Wax Wednesday, play the theme. My name is Bill Plaster. I'm the owner of Doctor Strange Records. I just started collecting records probably when I was 15. So I would say 79 is when I really got into music. And music never really gave me any interest until I heard punk. First time I heard Devo, I'm like, that kind of opened up something in my mind. So I had friends and they had older brothers and just getting into music, going to their house, like who's this, oh this is Blondie, this is Devo, and so on. Just buying records based off of what they recommended or based off of how the record looked or where it was located in their store under the new wave section. 1988, started out of my apartment and you know I was already buying records for myself so I just bought more traded more, put a classified ad like in Maximum Rock and Roll and Flipside, and then you start getting people asking, can I have your catalog? And I would do it every single month, and it just kept growing and growing. Man, it took forever. I didn't have a word processor. I just had to erase what sold and retype everything, and it took forever. But it was fun. I totally ripped it up. I was um, in downtown Pomona at the uh, antique mall, and I saw a comic book, Doctor Strange. And I thought to myself, that would be a cool name for a store, for a record store. If I ever do a record store, I'm gonna call it Doctor Strange. And then three years later, I started doing the mail order. I kept that in my head. That's it. It's as simple as that. I'll tell you, the, the goal I started then, 34 years ago, I was 23. And back then and now, my whole goal, pay rent, buy pizza anytime I want. That defines success. That's it. And also, you know, I've added that too. I want people to feel welcome here, no matter if you're into music or not, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of people and a lot of stories I could tell you sad and some good um, of people that are really struggling and they just need a hug, you know, a mental hug or, or a literal hug. So I like to be that if I can. And just be a fun place, be a, a very uh, accepting place of everyone. And that's what Doctor Strange is. The real hours are 11 to 7 every single day. Everyone's always welcome, and I thank you guys very much. All right, guys, so we hope that you enjoyed that interview with uh, Bill Plaster. So now we're going to go ahead and go through what he has here at Doctor Strange Records. We're going to find some records. We're going to crate dig. So let's, let's take a look around. Bill mentioned that he has some really cool punk and reggae records, so uh, we're going to see exactly what he has. Bill mentioned in his interview that he kind of went, when he first started collecting records, he kind of went off different uh, covers that were interesting to him. So that's actually what I'm gonna look for. Grain Scraper, Desensitized. Cool cover, very cool cover. We're taking it. I think I'm gonna check out with this uh, Augustus Pablo record. It looks pretty interesting. We're gonna go ahead and buy these records. Bill was also very generous to us and gave us two records to take back to the studio to spin. And we're gonna go ahead and just uh, see what we cook up with these and the records that Bill uh, gifted to us. So we're very thankful to be here. Stay tuned, it's Wax Wednesday, we'll be back. My name is Derek Ramos and I have been making hip hop beats for about 12 years now. We're back in the lab and I'm gonna start cooking up a beat using uh, some of the vinyls that we found at Doctor Strange Records. I actually wanna give another shout out to Bill Plaster, the owner, for actually hooking us up with this uh, Dickies record, um, the Idjit Savant. I actually pulled the main sample that I'm gonna be working with off of this record. It's Pretty Ballerina, track two on side two. It has a cool little intro. Um, for this actual you know, production, I kinda of wanted to 
stick to doing stuff that sounded more like was punk rock, a little bit faster pace, maybe slowing it down and then cooking up something with that. So we're going to go ahead and um, I have this loop sampled up right here. Let's see if you could hear it. I didn't pick these records. These records were actually recommended to us uh, by Bill. This is a Dickies record that he actually was very generous enough to gift to us. There's a song on track two, Pretty Ballerina. That's the main melody for this production that I made this week. I took that, chopped it up, and made something a little bit different with the chops. Um, I just felt it fit really well into a hip hop beat. So that's a sample, I'm gonna chop it up. I think now at this point in my production career, I always start with drums, mostly always. Uh, it's just something that I kind of transitioned to recently in the past couple years. I knew I wanted to use a sample from the Dickies record, and I brought it into the Native Instruments software, chopped it up, put it on the machine, and then I just looked for a pattern after I had my drum track. All right, let's try a pattern. I just felt like I wanted to sample from another record this time around, so I went to the Voodoo Glow Skulls because I remember I had heard that chant, and uh, I felt like once I pitched it down, it felt like a really cool, you know, way to bring in the hook of the beat. Very cool colored vinyl too, by the way. It's got this like tie-dye pink pressed vinyl. It kind of reminds me of a one of those uh, pink donuts you get with the sprinkles in them. All right, so that's a sample that I'm gonna pull from that record. Just a quick little chant. I believe after that, there was some elements that I had built into the machine that I added, some like 
texture effects and kept it kind of simple. <laughs> I like it. It's it's really kind of eerie. It's a little dark, um, gritty. It gives me that boom bat feel that you know I aspire to make in my beats. I feel like I was gonna always be able to whether I looped it or whatever do something with the Dickies uh, vinyl, but <clears throat> the Voodoo Glow Schools. It was really cool to integrate that chant and you know those vocals, those open vocals, and then put that into the beat so like i said earlier it was fun stepping out of my comfort zone and sampling punk music and i feel like there's probably a whole world and plethora out there of punk music where we can just you know sample and find some crazy riffs or maybe even drum breaks or something like that so it was it was definitely fun making this week's beat and uh it really opened my ear in terms of what's out there to sample you just don't have to sample soul you just don't have to sample soundtracks it's there's a whole world out there that's just waiting to be sampled, I feel like.